The Nelson Mandela Children's Fund has welcomed the signing into law of the South African Sign Language Bill. The new law uh, that came into being means that sign language is South Africa's 12th official language. To discuss, we're joined by the Nelson Mandela Children's Fund CEO, Linda Ngube Nkomo. Uh, Ms. Ngube Nkomo, thank you for being with us. You say that this bodes well for children uh, whose hearing is impaired in any way. Uh, tell us why. Well, you know, uh, the children who are deaf have got an added layer of vulnerability in the sense that they cannot, um, in a lot of instances, they are environments where there is nobody that has, who speaks um, sign language and is able to understand what's going on in their lives throughout the systems. So as having uh, sign language as a 12th official language is something that we applaud and what we ask for is that the systems are strengthened to make sure that in every um, service that children interact with, there is somebody who mm. understands sign language. Does it mean it will make this practical difference, though? I mean, we still have to have the people who understand sign language. They still have to be available. Uh, ostensibly, now this can be a, a school subject, but the, the schools still have to have the capacity to offer it. I think having it legalized is a starting point. It's a great start that we applaud. Hence saying that now we need to make sure that the systems are strengthened making sure that children, uh, teachers in deaf schools have been taught sign language so that the children don't get left behind. We make sure that the systems that they interact with are accessible for them, whether we're talking about a schooling system, a health system, or a justice system. There's got to be now intentionality in availing the resources to make sure that the training of the people that interact with the children is, is, is at par with training that would be given for those who don't have hearing uh, challenges. All right, and we know this has been done in, in several African countries. I mean, what is the experience of young people who are, uh, have, have hearing uh, impairment? What, what do they experience when they enter the school system right now? Uh, what are those touch points along the way at university uh, when they're in the workplace that, that you really hope will change? Well, you know, we're only the fourth country in Africa to sign um, sign language into law. So it tells you that there is a massive gap that still needs to be closed. But I think from a South African perspective, it means that the systems need to get ready so that at some point in the future, we can have a situation where in any health facility, there is somebody who is trained to be able to attend patients that need so that use sign language to, uh, to communicate. And you can, you can extrapolate that across systems. It means that we need to start rethinking the curricula to ensure that it is ready for the training, especially of those who are in the public service to be able to provide uh, people that have uh, that use sign language the services that they have a right to. All right, we appreciate your time uh, welcoming uh, the twelfth official uh, language in South Africa, sign language. That was uh, Dr. Linda Nkomo, CEO of the Nelson Mandela Children's Fund.